What's up everybody and welcome to a new video. So there's some things that I want to address, you know, a lot of people talking, a lot of comments, a lot of opinions. And I'm going to be breaking down my disc. We're going to be talking about the whole situation, about why I said everything I said. I'm going to, you know, give you my, my thoughts. Because, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, that surround things I said that you can't really put into the rap because I'd be there all day sitting there explaining, you know. So I had to kind of shorten things down as much as possible so it's very short and compressed with a lot of information at once so first of all uh, i'm gonna post a post on my instagram if you guys want the reactors to react to my stuff shaq stevie you guys have been spamming them in my comments Knox, spamming them in my in my comments i don't think that they get notified for that so you guys need to go to their videos and spam them tell them to react to my one you know, thumb up comment and get it to the top comment so they see it. But I'm going to be, uh, post on Instagram and you guys just go over there if you've got Instagram and just spam, tag, you know, Shaq, Stevie, Knox, every reactor. My my track's at like, I think like 40k now. So I want to thank you guys a lot for that. But, you know, it's too much talking. So I'm going to skip the beginning bit. Obviously, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters, right? Because... Yeah, that's obvious, you know, he had the ghost right arm, the ghost buster, you know. First of all, before we even start, because the first line addresses it, right? The main reason why I dissed Benzino, everybody's saying, you jumped in a beef that doesn't concern you, blah, blah, blah. This, to me, is more than rap beef. It goes deeper than that. I'm sick to death of seeing over and over again people shitting on Eminem. Now, yeah, Eminem is the GOAT. He's my favourite rapper. You know, I pretty much studied his music to learn how to rap, along with a lot of other artists, of course. But he was the main one who I really studied his stuff. He does not get the respect he deserves. And he's constantly getting downplayed. He's constantly getting attacked by Dr. Umar, by Lord Jamar, by Benzino. You know, the game's dissing him. Like, why is so many... Now, the game, I'm going to take him out of this because... That, that was on some competitive shit. I respect it. Okay, cool. You want to call out M? That's fine by me. It's competitive rap. Whatever. It is what it is. But people keep pushing this agenda. Like Eminem can't be the GOAT because he's white. Eminem can't be considered top five because he's white. He's a guest in the house of hip hop because he's white. Like, do you dumb fucks not realize that if you are treating somebody differently because of the color of their skin, that is racism. People keep saying, oh, white people can't, uh, can't experience racism. Are you dumb? Racism is treating somebody differently because of their skin colour. You can't make one rule for one and one rule for another because of skin colour. And I debunked this whole thing in the first line. NBA. There was no black players in NBA till 1950. They let the first black person in. Black people started playing. Now, fair enough, they weren't allowed to play. Yeah, that's a whole other discussion. It's wrong. That's the point. Everybody should be included. Race is not important. It does nothing to do with anything. Culture, I understand. Culture makes you different, right? Because everybody's different. That's fine. But skin color means nothing. There's no difference. It's just the dumbest thing in the world, right? So imagine if you would have said, nah, this is our culture. This is white culture. You can't, you can't be the goat in white culture. You know, Michael Jordan can't be the GOAT. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal can't be the GOAT. LeBron can't be the GOAT. Rest in peace, Kobe. He can't be the GOAT because of his skin colour. It's ridiculous. It's racist. Like, and, and the, the thing that bothers me the most is you if you say something racist about any race on the planet, cancelled straight away. Say something about Jewish people, Asian people, black people, you, you get cancelled. But people were just openly racist to white people and it's fine. Nobody bats a fucking eyelid. So somebody has to, especially being a white rapper in hip-hop, somebody has to have the balls to, to step up and say, hold on a minute, this isn't right. The way, the way you're treating Eminem, when he's earned his spot, he's done so much, and hip-hop would not be the same without him. Like, you guys realise hip-hop is as big as it is, because when Eminem came in the game, the amount of white fans he brought into the genre... You know, that's a part of the reason why hip hop is so big, because it became worldwide at this point. And it's made so many, you know, imagine how many black men who have come up struggling and people like 50, they've been made millionaires thanks to hip hop. It's a positive thing. The more eyes on the genre, the better. 
People are making a living off of it. They're changing their lives, their families' lives, their kids' 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 lives. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. Like you guys are like that have this opinion. It's just so small-minded and irrelevant. And I'm just sick of it, man. Like Eminem deserves all the credit he gets. And and you don't see anyone else getting attacked. You don't see people attacking Jay Z or you know or Nas or J Cole or Kendrick. It's always Eminem just getting bashed constantly. If you don't like his music personally, that's fine. Just don't listen to his music, right? Anyway, sorry that I'm blabbing on, but this this is the reason why I did the diss track. Also, I'm trying to market my music. Yes, it gets clicks. A stan responds to Benzino. It's clickbait. I am a stan. I do feel this way. This is genuine. I'm passionate about it. And that's what you're supposed to make music about. You're supposed to make music about a message that you want to share. And this shit comes from my fucking heart. Because I'm sick of people not being equal. I'm a, I actually stand for equality, unlike other people that don't stand for equality. They want to be treated differently to others. That shit don't fly with me. We are all just as valuable as each other and we should all treat each other with respect. If you've got a problem with that, you're the problem, not me. You could try to say, yeah, but it's different because, but no, fuck off. I don't care, right? So that's why I got involved in this beef that doesn't concern me. Because I am sticking up for Eminem for that reason, right? Also, because I'm a fan of his, but that's the main reason. Now, that is a pretty fucking good reason to me. And if you don't think so and you think I'm corny, suck a dick. It's simple as that. Don't give a fuck, okay? Now, let's break this down. So the first bar, I already broke that shit down. The Ghostbuster NBA was a white thing and aren't you glad we made it different? You wouldn't have the ball that's at the Jordan to uplift it, shake the culture, made a living. You saying I ain't prevalent, your beef of m and is the only thing that keeps you relevant. Okay, so what we could do here, we can actually get the rap Elvis lyrics, right? We're going to break down exactly what Benzino said. So I'm going to read exactly what Benzino said. Rock and roll was the black thing until Elvis came and made it different, right? And then he said... I was minding my business. You wasn't making any type of noise these days. So the choice was made. Chout, Clace, uh, Chout, Clout, Chase, Benzino and Coyle Ray. So obviously I, that's what I'm saying there. Like, like you're saying M ain't making noise. Like he ain't prevalent. But your beef of Eminem is the only reason that you're relevant. Like literally the only reason I've heard Benzino's name for the past 20 years has been his beef of Eminem. Literally, if you go on this Wikipedia, yeah? Let's go on this Wikipedia. Benzino... We go on Wikipedia. Bam. Let's have a look. Here's his Wikipedia. Career. Tiny little thing. Feud with Eminem is literally second. His feud with Eminem is so prevalent in his career. It's literally on his Wikipedia here. Imagine that. Imagine your whole career being pretty much legal issues. Like, what a shit career you've had if this is it. Do you know what I mean? Like... Literally, that's the only reason why you're you're relevant is thanks to Eminem. You should be fucking thanking him, right? That, that's the start. So now, addressing this culture bar, because some people said, uh, somebody said on the reaction, he like misinterpreted it. So I'm going to make sure that, that you guys understand. I'm not saying about uh, why are you the culture when you, how are you the culture when you're broke? I'm not saying people that can't be a part of the culture and be broke. That's not what I was saying. I'm broke. I'm a part of the culture. It's fine. Um... What I was, he said, I am the culture. So he is the culture. You're not that important to be considered the culture, mate. You're literally broken and irrelevant. So you can't be the culture, okay? That's that's me breaking that down. So how are you the culture when the culture doesn't like you? That like we don't even like you. Like, who really gives a fuck about Benzino? The culture when the culture doesn't like you, I ain't like you. I think you need the money more than I do. The internet despises you. So when I recite the rhymes, you hear me spitting on the mic, or write it just to spite you on the mic, you. So that whole part there, it if you don't really know my thought process or what I some people understood where I, what I was getting at. What I was saying there is I'm writing these rhymes to spite you. I'm writing them. I ain't getting a ghostwriter to do it. That's kind of what I was doing, but I also had the internal eye. Like, so when I recite the rhymes, the rhymes you hear me spitting on the mic, I write it just to spite you. I had all the eye sounds in there, and obviously rhyming spite you with despise you, 
at the end, so it's like a nice little rhyme scheme there. As you, so when I recite the rhymes, you hear me spitting on the mic, right? It just to spite you on the mic, you claim that he's a vulture, you're a joke. How are you the culture when you broke? Yeah, saying he's a culture vulture. How the fuck is Eminem a vulture, uh, vul a culture vulture, man? Like, I'm sick of it. Just because of his skin colour, he's a culture vulture. Fuck off. So first off, Ice Fezzo did and second nothing you said There's rumours you was in the hotel, give it some head Okay, here we go, so so if you guys don't know, there was uh, there's a guy called Ice Vezo that, that um, uh, Benzino bought up Where he said, I swear Vezo said, yo M, don't be showing the city love Why you ain't got no words for him, huh? He in your city, bruh Then I swear, I, I, I'm gonna put a little clip of what Well, there's no point putting a clip, you guys can look it up if you want, I can't, I can't bother he basically just said, I ain't seconding nothing that M said, uh, that, uh, that Benzino said about Eminem. I would never go against somebody from my city. So you guys can can go look it up if you like. You ain't seen him in town. You ain't seeking him out. And put the D on the map. You put the D in your mouth. Okay, there. So, so Benzino said, like, about him, you don't even come outside. You don't even see your town. You don't even be around, you know, all of that stuff. And he said, I was raised in my city and Missouri loves company. I'm more Detroit than you and all of this stuff, he said. So that's why I said that. Like, you know, M put the D on the map. You put the D in your mouth. Obviously going with the hotel thing again. M's platinum status. He don't need you for clout. You need your daughter for money. You need to figure it out. He, there's a video of Benzino talking about, yeah, I asked my daughter for money. And to be honest, to be genuine, I felt bad for him. I actually believe him. I, I genuinely deep down think Benzino is a good man. I have nothing against him as a person. And I honest, genuinely want him to do well. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I want him to have a good life. It's just the racist bullshit that I'm sticking up for. It's not a personal problem with Benzino himself. You know, it goes for Lord Jamar. It goes for Dr. Umar and all these fucking dickheads that are spreading this racist bullshit that's what i'm sick of them as a, as people i wish them the best i genuinely you know i i don't want benzino to be broke i want him to have a nice life i want him to live good you know i i genuinely do and if koi ain't helping him out and he is struggling and she's rich that's your dad man like sort him out do you know what i mean give him money make sure he's okay i would love to do that for my father i would have loved to do that for my mum who passed away like family is important right help the man on a genuine genuine level right but i'm just saying you know and somebody pointed out m's diamond status not platinum status and the reaction i was like you know what you're right but i was just saying platinum because he literally goes platinum every time he drops is like a bare minimum for him so that's kind of why I said platinum. Um, yeah, then then Benzino said about, um, you know, he started listing off. Let's go through your stable. Gun left your label. Benny left your label. Con left your label. Royce left your label, etc. So I was, M gave Gun an opportunity. Benny an opportunity. He gave these men opportunities. He signed them. Like, what, what, what do you want? He invested money into trying to make their career, you know? because he believed in them he gave them an opportunity and when it didn't work out they went off and they did their their, their thing and then and then also he said why don't this cat get the type of criticism that diddy do that's because diddy signs people to his label and doesn't let them go he did that with mace go and go and go and do some research look at mace's career i swear jada kiss and people had some issue with diddy being locked in a record deal with him and this isn't just diddy don't get me wrong record deals in general are shit they're scam artists they just fucking they invest money in you and then they take like 80 percent of the profit so people don't even understand how record labels work like let's say they give you 100 grand and that you that's a loan you gotta pay that back but you don't make no money until they've got all their money back but when you sell an album they get 80 percent of the money from the album you get 20 percent so when you've you pay back every money that money from every album you're only paying so if they've made a hundred thousand which is what they invested in you Technically, you've only paid 20% of that to them because the other 80% of that revenue belong to them already. So that means you have to now make 500,000 with your album just to be even with them. And then you start making money. And if you don't pay that back, you're in debt. You owe them money. And now you're stuck. If you deliver an album they don't like, they don't release it. And then you get shelved. And, and guess what? You can't release music elsewhere because you're signed to them. They owe you. They own you. They own your music. You can't do nothing. 
You can't release the album because they don't want you to. And they don't want you to make another album of anyone else either. So you're just stuck and that's your career finished. And that's probably why I would never sign a deal. If I did sign a deal, I would have to skim with a lawyer over every loophole, every detail, and make sure that it's a fair deal. Because otherwise it's not going to happen. And, I'd, and even then I'd probably still stay independent, even if it was a good deal. So, yeah, that's why I said what I said. That, you know, they'd still be stuck in a deal if, if they signed with Diddy. And that they they did leave because they were free to leave. Because Eminem didn't trap them in the deal. So completely debunked his whole shit there. And he don't support battle rap. Way battle Marv one on the Gate Mile DVD. You mean smart son? Gave Marv a shout out. Battle rap a shout out. Real. Let's not forget the total slaughter shit that he done. Okay, so we're gonna address this. So he said, you come from battle rap. Why don't you support none of these battle cats? Drake be at these smack events. Where was your ass at, right? First of all, Eminem did the Total Slaughter thing where he got all the battle rappers and made kind of a little like reality TV show documentary-esque type thing. They battled, he, they put on the whole show. Eminem was there watching. He put the whole thing together. He, um, I think he was an executive producer on a battle rap film called Bodied, which had all the modern day battle rappers in it. Um, and also, 8 Mile is the biggest promotion that battle rap has ever had. Like, think about it. Think about who's promoted battle rap more than the film 8 Mile. It took, like, battle rap to every corner of the fucking world. What, like, everybody knows 8 Mile, man. Everyone. Do you know what I mean? Like, even people that ain't in the hip-hop know 8 Mile. They probably watch the film. So what the fuck are you talking about? Eminem's done more for battle rap in, in that case than anyone. Do you get what I'm saying? How are you not supporting battle rap? And he's also shouted out people from battle rap like math hoffer and and stuff like that he shouted them out he's always shouting people out like i don't and i don't get why is nobody saying that to jay-z anyway or nas or people like that or j cole or kendrick hey you guys need to support battle rap you guys need to do this you guys need to do that nobody tells them to do anything why is it on m to do everything like i just don't get it i don't get where this shit comes from this is the thing, Eminem gets treated so differently because he's white than everyone else. It's ridiculous. Everybody did. This next bit, this game is him. Imagine if he dispatched every single song he made would have to be a diss track. There's levels in his leagues, fam. Like Milkbone, the last Emperor dissed him. Who the fuck are these, man? You okay, so I'm going to address this too because some people had an issue with this bar. So he's saying that. Um, you know, Milkbone dissed you, Last Emperor dissed you, Pace One dissed you, Young Z dissed you, you know. Now, now here's the thing, I know Young Z and I know Pace One and Eminem was friends with them personally. Um, and I, I'm actually cool with Pace One, like when when we was going through the whole As Is diss, diss track situation. If you guys haven't seen that, type in a stand response to As Is, a stand response to As Is again because he dissed me, I dissed him back. It was a lot of fun, right? Shout out to As Is. I hope, I hope he's doing well. Um, yeah, Pace One hit me up, man. And I said to Pace One, like, you know, shout out to Pace One for staying neutral because he he didn't diss me or nothing. And we was cool. We, we chopped it up a bit in the DMs. Um, and I respect him. He's, he's a cool guy. Um, so I, I wasn't disrespecting Milkbone. I wasn't disrespecting Last Emperor. I've just never heard of these guys before. And, and I'm not putting them down or saying I'm better than them or... Or anything. People ain't heard of me. You know what I'm saying? But when we're talking Eminem, the top of the fucking mountain. Jay-Z, the top of the fucking mountain. These people are as high up as you can be in hip-hop. And I've never heard of these guys. Why should they have to respond to them? That's like, if I dissed Eminem now, Eminem should respond to me? Nobody knows who I am. Why? Why would Eminem respond to me? Why would people think that Eminem should respond to me? It don't matter if I drop the best diss track in the world. Eminem does not have to respond to me because I'm a nobody. Nobody knows who I am. I've got a, like, in, in, now you guys give me your opinion on this, right? But in my opinion, the person that I feel Eminem should have responded to the most would be the game. Because I know who he is. He's got, in my opinion, a classic album, the documentary, right? 
He can rap very well on some competitive shit. He called you out, but here's the here's the flip side. Imagine if Eminem just dissed every single person that dissed him, right? Even if they were at a certain level. Let's just say he only dissed people that were at least at the game's level, like of fame and and you know all of that shit. People would literally just be like, all right, look, I need a buzz. I'm just going to diss M because he's going to respond. And, and what? Eminem just has to respond to everybody. So it's a, it's a catch-22. It's like if he don't respond, people talk shit. But if he does respond, he's given a load of clout to the game, right? It, it just, it's a, it's a bit of a shitty situation because people would just use him for clout at that point. Just like, oh, he's like a free clout bank. You know what I'm saying? So... You can't, you can't, eat. so if he, if he responded, he'd be encouraging that behavior, encouraging people to just diss him for no reason, because they'll get a response, that's why he shouldn't respond, right there, but would I have liked him to respond on some competitive rap shit, fuck yeah, I would have loved to hear that, M, respond to Benzino, respond to everyone if you want, I'm here for it, alright, I enjoy that shit, so yeah, let's crack on anyway. You look like a hamster when he's packing his cheeks Who is your buddy in the hotel clapping your cheeks Man you're rapping this week So we know you had a ghost right And mention proof to get him hot headed like the ghost rider he So this is very straightforward as well So obviously I said you know You look like a hamster when he's packing his cheeks Cause I mean you know we, we, we've, all, we've all seen Benzino right You know Look, 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 at, look at this man's cheeks yeah, he looks like a hamster. The whole hotel thing again is just a little funny bar. But mentioning proof to in both diss tracks that he did, he mentioned proof to get him hot headed, to get Eminem pissed off. Like the Ghost Rider. If you guys don't know who the Ghost Rider is, he's a skull with a flaming head, hot headed. It's very simple. Um, that's pretty much it, right? Don't mention proof. Like I said to Aziz, keep the dead out of your mouth, man. Like, that Bruce passed away, rest in peace. Leave him alone, man. Don't be mentioning him. It's disrespectful. He invades a culture just to diss us. Every single chance he get, he uses it to give love. Just listen to his rock and roll Hall of Fame list. Let me want other rapper that be doing that shit. So if you guys haven't seen the, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where Eminem was in inducted into it, he literally, in alphabetical order, listed like... 10,000 fucking rappers, literally. Like, you can sit there for minutes just listening to such and such. Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, NWA, Easy e He's just literally just listing them off. All right, you guys can go check that out if you like. Um, sorry, I'm just bombarding you guys. I know I'm, my energy's high. I might come off a bit aggressive, but it's just passion. I'm passionate about this shit. It comes from the heart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you guys don't don't like it. I'm very sorry, but this is just how I feel, man. I'm just being honest. I need to get this shit off my chest. I need to. This is why I got involved. Apparently the man Eminem keeps us divided The only reason he be getting hate is cause he's white And we hate your double standards and your racism is bullshit You've been shot before so you could take my shots cause what's a bullet, huh? So obviously that in the bar he said how he'd been shot Like I've been shot before, what's a bullet to me? That's why I said that thing The other bit I already addressed it Also something I want to say about the whole Marv 1 battle rap situation as well I actually forgot and skimmed over it I talked about 8 Mile, I didn't talk about Marv 1 so if you guys don't know, Marv 1 battled Eminem in the whole behind the scenes thing, but it wasn't a proper battle. First of all, Eminem to save his voice wasn't supposed to rap at all. He was supposed to just pretend he's rapping and, um, you know, the rappers were allowed to rap and they was going to put them in the film to promote them, to help them out, right? They did like a little rap contest thing. So, um, and every battle rapper pretty much at that point got pay the check marv one said all this go check his interview he said all of this stuff they got paid they got three meals a day you know they got royalty checks from that shit i think he said um so marv one was like the best rapper out of all of them that battled eminem he's the one who made eminem start battling back but eminem freestyled back for a start marv one was sick i still remember like a lot of the shit he rapped like 
I'm quite nice on fight nights. Why are you popping shit, man? I thought he liked life. Apparently not. And then your parents would get shot. I'm a bad boy, bitch. It's on. I put 44s in your chest like you Rick Mahon. This shit was hard, right? But Eminem then freestyled back. Now, everybody saying Marv 1B Eminem. Eminem freestyled and that was a written. You can't really compare, right? Even it's not important anyway. But you can't compare. Eminem was just having fun. He freestyled back. Yes, Marv 1 shit was better than the freestyle Eminem did. Because it was written, you know? It's, it's common sense, man. That's that. But Marv 1, the important thing is Marv 1 said, I will say I lost that battle over and over again and scream it from the mountaintop before I let Benzino use M uh, me against Eminem. He's not going to give Benzino any satisfaction. He's grateful for what Eminem did. That situation with the 8 Mile shit changed his fucking life. That's what he said. Go check it out. So I've added that too. And... I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I've ranted enough. This video apparently is 26 minutes long. Um, I just really need to get this shit off my chest. If you guys watch this, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because I, I feel like I've been heard now. Maybe I can chill a bit now and and calm down a bit. But, you know, there's there's a lot more shit that I want to get off my chest about different subjects as, as well. With the double standard bullshit. You know... If you go, if you want to go check out my song Fatherhood, that's another subject I'm very passionate about. At this point, you feel like living is a lost cause. You ask if shit get any worse, and you're not sure. They say they're giving birth's the worst pain that you could feel. Imagine raising kids and finding out they're not yours. I'll put it in the description. Um, I'll put the link to my diss track in the description too. Uh, please, guys, go follow me on Spotify if you use Spotify. DK Rap Artists on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you guys listen to music. Subscribe to the channel. And please, go and spam every reactor you see reacting to Nox's diss, to Rap Elvis, to um, to my diss. Well, not my diss, because otherwise they'd already reacted to it. But, I mean, you could go spam them too. Anybody who reacted to my diss, please go support them. Go show them love. Give them views. You know? That's, that's how you guys can help me push my music. Watch it. Tell reactors to react. If the, if they get views reacting to me, then they will react to my music more. You know, because it's very hard as an up and coming artist with no support. I can't do nothing. It don't matter how good my music is. That's why I'm using this whole situation to try to market myself because that's the only way I can do it, man. I need to do something to get my music out there. And I'm not just going to diss everybody. I've got morals. You know, like, I'm not just everybody who disses Eminem, I'm going to diss them. Otherwise, I would have dissed the game. I respect the game. Like I said, classic album. I'm a fan. All right. He can rap really well. I didn't diss the game. I don't have a problem with the game. You know, I dissed Benzino because of that. I dissed As Is because he was on the same bullshit. All right. He was just dissing them for no reason, talking a load of bollocks. So that's why I dissed him. And, and also because, you know, nobody liked him anyway. So fuck it. It's a win-win. All right. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for, for your support. It honestly means the world to me, genuinely. And I'll see you guys in the next video. My dog's barking. He's a knob. Bye-bye. And when I die, I want to fly. You'll see me soaring alone in the sky. And when I die, I want to fly. You'll see me soaring alone in the sky. I ain't got nowhere to stay. I ain't got nowhere to go. I'm never counting my chickens whenever I'm getting my ducks in a row. My head has got nowhere to lay. I'm used to not having a home. I struggle with knowing that I'm gonna die on my own. When you got nowhere, how can you go there? I'm in a place to be cold and there's nowhere If you's gonna get shorter, so how can I blow it? I'm on the verge and I know it I came for nothing, I know where I've been Here I go telling my story again Sick of just taking the shit on the chin Fuck it, I think that it's time for a win And all I got is just me and I That's not defeating my hope I'll just be in my head, take a seat in my phone You'll be seeing why I'm undefeated You know that I bring it, cause that's who I'll be in life